Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ronan Vico. In this video, I'm going to show you how to hide this navigation bar that shows every time a user opens your application when he is on a browser, on a desktop. So how to hide this navigation bar? It's pretty simple actually to do this. You just need to insert a param here. When I say param, I'm talking about these parameters in the U URL. So we need to insert in the URL character ampersand and insert the parameter hide nav bar. The parameter hide nav bar should be true. So this parameter right here, hide nav bar equals true. When I hit enter here, we're going to see that the nav bar it's hidden now. Pretty simple, right? But we have an issue here and I want to show you how to fix it. Ronan, what is the issue? When your user have access to the Power Apps platform, the Power App Make Studio, we can see here that he can click the play button, right? Every time your user click the play button, the high nav bar won't be here anymore. So, what we can do here is to force the application to detect the high nav bar is not there and force the user to reload the URL with the high nav bar. So, how to do it? Let's go to the studio. Here on the studio, I'm going to use the object app and I'm going to use the on start because the on start is the first thing that runs when your app opens. So I need to check it exactly on start of the app. And the first thing that I'm going to check if the user is using a browser in a desktop because if he is using a mobile I don't need to do anything right because the nav bar don't exist on a mobile so how to check if he is on a mobile or in a browser just to make it clear here for you I'm going to use in a text just you can see the response of the property we can use the host OS type the host OS type you can see here on the documentation that OS type brings us the Windows, Mac OS, or other uh, properties that you can use to detect if it is an iPhone or Android. And with that, we can check if the nav bar is there or not, right? One way of doing it is to use the browser user agent also because iOS tells us that we have iPhone, right? Uh, so it's a way of, of checking it, it's to check the browser agent. But I'm going to use the OS type, just to make it easier this class and it, it works pretty well, okay? I use on my projects the OS type. So, so let's write the sentence. The sentence is going to be, if not OS type host OS type equals Android, and not host OS type equals iOS, then we should write desktop. Okay? So basically, what I am doing here is to check if it is a desktop, like you can see. Desktop. Now I'm going to copy that sentence and go to my own start. In my own start, I'm going to check if the URL have the parameter hide nav bar. Ronan, how can you do it? How? We can use a function here called param. So the function that we're going to use is param. The function param gets the parameter that is on our URL. So basically what I'm doing here is to check param hide nav bar and if if param hide nav bar not is new so if it is not new it, it is because we have hide nav bar right so let me change here my statement 
if is new. So if I check the param hide nav bar on my URL and is new, it is because we don't have the hide nav bar, right? So if we don't have the hide nav bar, it is because we need to reload the page with this param on the URL. So what we're going to do here is to if is new, right? I'm going to launch the launch. Launches at a web page or an app associated with the specified URI. So basically, I'm going to launch the app that, that is already open, but with the high nav bar equals true. Basically, what I'm going to do here, it is to copy this URL. I don't need any of that params. I just need the environment and the app ID. So we don't need all the other parameters that we have here. I just need that one. I'm going to paste it, it here. After pasting the address that is our URL, I'm going to go to the second parameter of this function launch. That is the parameters. Now we can insert the height nav bar equals true. So what we are doing here is to insert, it's like to insert Hide nav bar here. It's the same thing, right? So I, I'm just reloading the app with this parameter on the URL using the function launch. But we need to do one more step, the last step. We have the target. The target is the option to launch in a new tab in a new window or in the same window the same tab that I am right now. So that is really important because I don't want to open a new tab with the application. I just want to reload the tab, reload the page that I'm already in. Checking again on the documentation of the Power Platform, we can see the target to have the option to, to replace the web page or the current window or tab. Exactly what we want. Okay, that's why we need to change here to use the target. Oops, target, launch target, replace. So I want to replace the current tab. I just, I don't want to open another one. Now it's completed. Now we have exactly what we need to launch this application every time with the hide knife bar equals true. So is new don't exist on Power Apps, sorry. What, what we have here is is blank. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I use it is new because um, I'm used to work with SQL Server and we, we have the, the is new there. So it is blank on Power Apps. So if is blank, launch the application again, okay? So if is blank, launch the application. Now our function is ready. Let's save it. Let's publish and check if it is, is working. Now when the user comes here to the make.powerapps.com and click on play, we're going to see what happens. You can see that the page refresh automatically and insert the hide nav bar. So every time your user open the application now, they won't see the nav bar anymore. If this video helped you, please consider to subscribe, thumbs up and share. Please share this video so we can bring more subscribers to the channel and I will bring more content to you. Thank you so much for watching. If you watch this video to the end, comment down below your feedback and also comment your feedback, the word strawberry. If you comment strawberry, I will know that you watched the video to the end. It's a, a magic word that I let on the end of my videos. So I know who watched the video to the end. Thank you so much again. We see you in another class, in another video, and please subscribe.